Hello, this is Steve from Beto's Leatherworks. Today's project is this cool Alden suede shoes. Now, the customer sent these in and requested red bottom soles, okay, which is not a big difficult job to do. This is the vibrant sole that we would use. You have the welt, you have a midsole, and you have the sole stitched together. We would remove the sole, clean the threads off the welt, restitch the midsole back to the welt, and then glue these on and you're done. One problem with this. If you look right here, the welt is so narrow, the manufacturer sanded that so close to the edge, so there is no way I'm gonna be able to restitch this back once I take it apart. So now a job where it's probably about $200, now it became about $400, because I've gotta remove everything from the bottom. Re-welt them, midsole, stitch those two together, and then add our sole to it. Now. Having a brand new white suede obviously makes it a lot difficult to work with. So I've got to be extra careful to keep these clean. Once they get done, they should look just like this, but with the red bottoms. All right, let's get started. It's really a shame that uh, I got to take apart a brand new shoe. And new shoe. This is uh, painters use this. Works good for shoes too. We do not want to get this white suede dirty. Not even a smidge. Smudge? Smidgen? Smudgen? You don't want to cut it there. Kind of cool looks in. Plastic opens up. <laughs> you didn't want to see what I was doing. <laughs> Plastic opens up and you just tuck it inside the shoe. Let me continue on wrapping it because there's little there's little razors right here. See those little sharp edge? And if you don't have that, if you if you have that at a wrong angle, it's gonna cut it. And of course I had it at the wrong angle and it cut it earlier than I wanted to. Hey man, that blue thing was in the way. I couldn't see what you're doing. There you go. She's done. This way it protects it, and we don't want to get the shoe dirty to create more work. going to be a fairly quick job not too difficult of a job just removing everything stitching a welt on there and putting new soles bitty bitty that's all folks You can see it, right? See that right there? Man, that's not good. Wow. See, stuff like that shouldn't be passing through 
quality control. It just shouldn't. You know, Alden's a good company too. But I don't care how good you are when you're putting out stuff like that. That's not good. Now the heel block was fiberboard, paper. Okay, most of the time the midsoles are fiberboard also, but this one is not. Strange to say, this is a leather midsole. We're not going to use that at all, that's trash. Because once we put the new welt on, it's going to change the shape of it. Obviously, we can't reuse that again. But it is leather. Now the heel rand, this is called the heel rand right here. See that back piece? 270 degree welt stops right here and this continues on the back just to kind of give it that shape of a continuous welt. That is fiberboard. We are going to replace that with leather. Okay. All right, let's continue. Put the midsole on, stitch it, glue the sole, trim it, and we're done. Alright, let's continue. Y'all know what time it is. Come on, y'all. You got to know. Damn it. 
<laughs> yeah, I got like 10 of these somewhere, like all around the shop. It was so cool for people to send me those. I mean, it was so, I was like, I was so thankful. Some of you remember that I had one and I dropped it as I was recording and it broke. And next thing I know, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting little boxes in the mail. It was so cool. It was so cool. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Please don't send me more. I got too many as is. <laughs> Maybe I could give them away in like jobs. Hey, that's a good idea. always ask me, have you hit your thumb? No. Why would I leave my thumb here and then hammer it? Oh, she almost had it. Ooh. Yes, I have. I was just joking. <laughs> it happens sometimes, you know, you fall asleep as you're, as you're uh, working. Not sleep, sleep, like your brain dozes off, you know. Doesn't feel good, I can tell you that. So don't ask again. Yes, I have. Whoever says they have it, they're lying to you. It's part of the job, you know? You learn every day. Every day you learn. much better than what it was. Now we have to nail the heel, the back of the heel, because the welt doesn't go all the way around and there's no stitching there. So this is basically what's holding on the back of the heel to the footbed. And when these nails hit the metal last, that's the metal last, it cinches it back in. That way it's not sharpie, sharpie. It's not sharp to stick to the customer's foot. Now, I didn't have to open up a, a channel here for the stitches to countersink into. It's just good for the future repair because when they remove the worn out sole, they can sand this and they can not touch the stitches. So they don't have to pick the stitches and clean the, you know, clean the stitches and, and restitch the midsole again. So this way it's prepped for them. All righty, all righty, last hammer time. That's it. No more hammer time today. Did you 
Is that enough hammer time? back we'll talk about we'll talk about the shield all right let's continue now that I'm videotaping the other one came off like butter because I'm videotaping I'm recording whatever you want to call it bust it come on now Well, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. Um, I'm not going to show you the shoes. I already showed them to you. I'm not touching those. I'm going to put some gloves on before I touch them. I'm not taking a chance and getting a spot on them. Get some gloves on, put them in plastic bags, box them up, and ship them out. 
All right, so if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you haven't um, hit the bell notification, please do so. And then give me a thumbs up if you don't mind and leave me a comment and give me some ideas on where I can improve. And uh, hope to see you guys again on the next project. Take care.